the world's hardest grottos. 16 floors, rank 9 monsters, boss is Grainar, let's rumble. Right, first one it looks like is the Volcano one. And I think this is one of the ones where I couldn't actually find one with Grainar at the bottom. But it's still rank 9 and I think it's still 16 floors. So the one rule I'm going to self-impose is self -impose, is that I'm not allowed to run from any battles. If I get into a fight, I have to win. So basically this is just a test of which monsters do I remember from my youth, <laughs> essentially. I think I've got a lot of the um, Volcano ones and Defeated Monster list already. But that's one of the main goals of this as well, finish off the defeated monster list. I think we're at 92% at the moment. So we just need the remainder of the Grotto monsters. We've got all the bo bosses and the legacy bosses. So we need the remainder of the Grotto monsters and the final two quest monsters. And then we're done completely. And then it's just levelling up those legacy bosses left in this playthrough. And the odd quest that looks good as well. This is the annoying part of not following the map. I <laughs> just end up filling out the whole thing out of just OCDness. Yeah, I've got no idea if these grottos contain any decent chests or not. I imagine there's a few, so I'm just going to open everyone I see. I don't know where the good ones are. No, yeah, a little bit of off, uh, grinding off camera as well. We got the Hallowed Helm, and we didn't have to kill Hammerball that many times to get it. Maybe about 20. I've been very lucky in a lot of my um, uh, monster killing in this playthrough. Go for it too. Yeah, I'm still missing the shield, and I think you want that on everyone. So I'm going to need like an average of 200 kills of Sir Sanguinus to get the shield for everyone. And I still haven't actually started looking at the A-Gate path yet, or I haven't started making them anyway. I've bought a load of Chrono Crystals. The chest. Load of rubbish. Uh, that could be good. Actually, yeah, I should start making some Lucky Pendants, really, because they're bound to be good for some bosses. I think the best items for accessory-wise are the ones that block like elemental damage. But the Lucky Pendant's just got good evasion chance. Managed to slip past everything so far. I don't think that's going to be the case later on when the enemies are massive. Especially not when we come to dead ends like that. Whoop. <laughs> Still dodging. Now, I haven't got the... Gloves either for the legendary set, and I haven't got the boots, although I'm not going to go for the boots. I'm just going to grind grottos until I get metal slime boots, because they've got the evasion chance. I haven't even started upgrading the metal slime stuff yet. All you need is slime drops and orichalcum. You've got loads of orichalcum, and then you need the uh, slime hat, whatever you call it. Metal, yeah, slime crown. Metal slime into liquid metal slime stuff is six slime drops and orichalcum, and then after that to the metal king stuff it's six. No, it's the metal. Oh, hello. <laughs> Forgot these are in it. Uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll start trying to get well, start, but continue trying to get some levels as well. Because before I grind properly on the legacy bosses, I want to get everyone level ninety nine basically. Let's kill some of these bastards. It's going to be annoying swapping back from swords to axes and spears every time, but... Oh well. Well, that was fucking pointless. <laughs> That's the most annoying thing about any Dragon Quest game, getting a load of Metal King Slimers and just all of them running away. It happens in every single game. It's one thing I want to get for my setup as well. I'm, I reckon I'm... Oh, hello. I reckon I'm going to film a setup tour later, an updated one. But I want to buy some like little metal slime figurines, or liquid metal slime figurines. Because they look sick. We'd really upgrade the axes at some point as well. Not that it makes any difference for the uh, metal slimes, but just in general. There we go, I've got one. That's 30k XP. So we should find, in this episode, some Platinum King Jewels as well. And I'm still relatively sure that they're not worth grinding. Because although they are more XP, they're just far rarer and only ever appear in ones. There we go, it's 82. I can't remember what we're putting skill points into at the moment. I think it's probably Armamentalist for the Gladiators, because they've got a bit of a health boost in their skill tree. Uh, oh, we ain't getting around that way. Oh, we are. Lovely. More chests. Ah. Can't imagine these ones to be any good just yet on the lower floors. Maybe they are. One of the grottos I got was... I 
think it had like 10 rank A chests. And I did get, on the off camera, I got a set of metal slime armor. Actually, let's chuck that on, shut it off. Because yeah, I don't think defense, or stats wise, it's not as good. Yeah, you can see it's only 606 instead of 621. But I think it, for some elemental damage, I think it's better for some legacy bosses because their elemental resistance is better for some elements. Possibly fire and ice, the victorious armor one is better. Oh, hang on, I, I ran away from the monster, didn't I? I've broken my own rules already. <laughs> Let's kill this one and make up for it. My brain slipped. How's that? Not bad. Cheeky lava lump. Oh yeah, I remember a lot of these monsters from my playthrough. Like the first one ten years. That's a rank A, isn't it? From my playthrough ten years ago. It's gonna be when we get to the ruins. Oh, I needed one of them. <laughs> Been quite lucky so far. It's gonna be get when we get to the ruins that I'm gonna have like massive nostalgia because I remember like the massive terrifying spiders walking around. It's the same. They got the same model as um, Tyrantula, the boss earlier in the game, but they're just normal monsters. And there's monsters with the same skin as Traumanator as well. That's Rank A as well. Or Rank S. I think there's two of them with the same skin as Traumanator. One's a golden one. I definitely remember that one. Yeah, because the Volcano and... Volcano Ice and Water maps are rarer. I don't remember too many of these monsters. I think we've got all the lava ones in the Defeated Monster list already, but this is just for the sake of completing the set of toughest maps. Right, floor 7. Yeah, new monsters at floor 5, uh, 9 and 13. Max 4 is 16. Still, the one thing I haven't seen since my first playthrough, I specifically remember it, is I had a floor without monsters. And I've never seen anything... I don't think I've ever seen a wiki reference to that. Yeah, it was just a map with just one floor. No monsters at all. Don't know if there's Metal King Slimes on this uh, rank of floors anymore, so I might switch back to Sword. Let's do this quick. Oh, we're bound to be ambushed before he comes out of this screen anyway. But, oh. I've upgraded to Ethereal Armor for Edward as well. Need to do the same for John. I think Ethereal Armor is... I don't know if it's the best in slot for a priest, but I think it's up there because of the elemental resistance. And I think Ethereal Gloves are just by far the best for priests. Yeah, no way I was making that out of that. Oh god, we're not allowed to run away. Alright, let's do this properly then. Just have them attack for now and then kill him. Okay, that was pointless. Oh dear. Oof. First one's down. Let's have the defense, there's no point in them attacking when they're doing nothing. Now they can attack. I'm sure trolls have always got like low defense in every Dragon Quest thing. They've got high HP, low defense, and then... I'm sure they always do the same attack as well, when it's either... They jump towards you and it's either going to be a crit or a miss. It's essentially Hatchet Man or Thunder Thrust. Getting through that, but no. I've right, got to have my chest up there afterwards as well. I've not had that many grottos with rank S chests yet, and I think the only thing really of value in there is Saint Insomers, which I need for A gates. So I think the alchemy path for Saint Insomers is just like you look at it and think, no, I just do rank, rank S chests. That definitely wasn't rank S. I'll move out of the way, please. <laughs> Fine. Oh, we did get through. Lovely. Yeah, it gets two Sentient Simons, two Ethereal Stones, and then one Chrono Crystal. And the Chrono Crystals are just money, and you get shitloads of that in this game. And the only thing worth buying, like, in the post-game is Chrono Crystals. But yeah, the Ethereal Stones and Sainted Somers are just either painful alchemy or get lucky in Grotto Chests. Just spam Grottos, get loads. Uh, can we block him? Oh, we died. Dad? Mission success, All right.
See if this is worth it. Is that a rank S? That might... Is that the best knife? No, the best knife is Darting Dagger. Right? I can't actually remember. <laughs> Maybe that's not rank S, but... Although I didn't actually check the chests when I looked through these. Given that it is a higher ranking... Well, oh, new monsters in this world. Given this is a higher level uh, map, there's probably going to be some, a lot of rank A's and rank S's, but I didn't check. Now, what we want out of rank A's is the Metal Slime Boots, and that's pretty much it. Metal Slime Gloves would be an upgrade at this point of the game, but I still want to get the uh, ones from Equinox, whatever they're called. I love that dinosaur figure. <laughs> the purple one just looks... I don't know if it's a slightly different model to the normal dragons you see in like, the story. It looks sick. I think it is the same, actually, just purple, but it still looks good. Now, I'm maintaining my theory that it, there is a slightly different shade of colour when you get to a new rank of monsters. I think I'm... No, I'm just playing the song of Fire Tunes anyway, but... I think my theory that the music changed slightly when you're in a different type of grotto, i.e. ruins the cave and all that. I think that's bollocks. <laughs> I think I made that up. <laughs> I'm sure there is a little reshade. It gets slightly darker the deeper you go down, which makes sense. Killed one of these yet, so fuck it. Load of terror lost. But we did loads for them for the quest earlier anyway. Yeah. Never have too many of them. I don't really know what to <laughs> spend them on anymore. I suppose just um, elfin elixirs. That's quite useful actually. I don't know to what extent elf using an elven elixirs in a fight is actually a good strat, or you just want to level up MP as much as possible for a different location skill trees. It's always useful in grottoes when you run out of MP because you heal them too much, but in a fight, I don't know. They used to make Yggdrasil dews. <laughs> it might be, I might have to look that up. Because Yggdrasil dews are just always going to be worth it for every character. It's just a free MP on the hill, essentially, so you can use that with gladiators as well. Getting away from that one. At least it's on his own. Not had too much of a struggle with the monsters yet, although we've dodged a lot of them, obviously. Definitely in the ruins. I'm sure I remember just being <laughs> constantly terrified in Grotos as a kid. I think I missed a chest there then. Lovely. We need them. Used to make a furious stand. But yeah, I was constantly terrified as a kid, especially in the ruins. Either because they were the most common or because the monsters genuinely are the toughest there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, the monster's just so big. Caves as well when you get the whales. That's quite clever, to be honest. Just reskinning like the most difficult bosses as normal monsters, and just putting them in, putting them in places where you definitely can't get past them. <laughs> it's quite good. Oh, chest. Oh dear. Or at least we know that one's rank A or S then. It's a Pandora's box. He ruined my streak, missing his second hit. Oh well. So I think a few rounds of these, it's not going to be long till we are level 99. I don't know. Well, I won't revocate yet. I probably will need to do it for the high level legacy bosses because I need the skill points in other trees. Right, here we go. The final rank of Volcano Monsters. And even though I've, I think I've got them already, I do want to fight them just to see just how difficult they are. Here we go. Red Musifier. 
and the Hell's Gatekeeper. So these are the toughest guys in the volcano. I was going to say until we get to the boss, but I don't think this one's got the crane on it. I think it's probably Equinox. I don't know why it's coded this way, but the high level grotto maps in this game don't always have the high level, uh, high uh, yeah, high level bosses for some reason. I think as soon as you go past a certain threshold, it's just random 1 to 12, which boss you get. Because normally in a mid-level grotto, you get a mid-level boss, but at a high level, it's just completely random. Again, don't know why. This is just to give you a break after <laughs> 16 floors of the hardest monsters, and then you just get Equinox at the bottom. It's nice and easy. This guy's had a lot of health and a lot of defense. We got through him. I'm going to need to heal up before we fight anything else. Give us something good. I'll take that. <laughs> good bit of uh, usefulness for alchemy. Come on in. It's not even rank A that one. If we can get past that, that was lucky. Uh, is there up there? Alright, here we go. Not getting past this one. Rashavarax. See what they can do. They're paralyzed over. And they've survived all of our attacks as well. Lovely little dodge. And a lovely little block. Doing well. The grinding for uh, good shields and. Well, we haven't really done the grind for good boots yet, but it seems to be paying off so far. I don't know what the highest block and dodge chance you can get is. Because I think the highest block is like nearly 20% with the fully upgraded Sir Sanguina shield, whatever it is. The nice golden one. This might... No, we're still going. I don't think all of these maps had 16 floors, but this one, obviously, number 15 or 16. I'm pretty sure it's just Equinox at the bottom of this one. It's very hard to get, like, completely... Oh, hello. Oh, I don't think I've killed this guy before. Who is he? Vermil Lion. So he's got the same model as an Uh, right, so it's, few... it's defense. Let's do this relatively sensibly. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do as much as I thought it would. You can see the monsters just start to look absolutely terrifying after a while. Just from the size of them. Like, you never get past them in the corridor. And I'm pretty sure this guy is one of the monsters that follows you when he chases you, rather than just follows in a straight line. I don't really remember him saying that. Alright, Enraged with Jade. Should be fine. Oh, that was lucky. I presume that was a critical attack. He's got meditate mechanics. Fucking hell. That's like high-end boss mechanics. That's just a spam attack. See what we can do. Need 300 with a normal attack. Oh no, he had 10. There we go. We got him. Must be a relatively rare monster though. Because we didn't come across him in the previous two floors. Alright, it does have 16 floors, lovely. Oh, come on, give us something good. We will take that, that is good. I can give um, John a set of ethereal armor now. And whoever didn't have the gloves, I think I only had the ethereal gloves on one of them. Can't upgrade then. Can't start making egg gates yet though, because we don't have any sainted somers at all. Right, we are at the bottom. I want to check the best diary while we're here. Because I think we must have... Well, hopefully we've done all of the... Um... What was I missing over there? What are those two? Oh, I see, yeah, because my computer crashed last time. So those are the two quest ones we're missing. And then here are the... Uh, yeah, here are the grotto monsters. So here we go, we've got to start with the fire ones. Hopefully that is not something I've missed, and hopefully that's just from... Presumably it looks like the ice grotto is up there. 
it looks like we've got all of them. Yeah, I think these are the final two in the volcano one. So it looks like we've got everything out of the volcano grottoes now. Which is nice. We've still got all the others to do, though. Right, let's see this boss. The final boss of one of the hardest grottoes is... It's Eggmox. <laughs> Not going to have any trouble at all here. <laughs> but hopefully we can cheekily spoon a pair of the gloves, though. Now, I don't know why that mechanic exists. Like, Because it seemed fairly common when I was looking through like the selection of them that you just got kind of very low level grotto bosses um, at the end of very high level grottoes. Don't know why. There you go. And shouldn't have any problem taking them out in one turn. Probably getting him one hit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right, can we spoon a pair of the gloves? Nah. Oh well. And there we go, there's the fire one done. Let's have a go at the next one. Here we go, Sapphire Water Way of Dread. So this is obviously going to be water now. Oh, I do love the look of this place. It's the kind of like thing I liked making in Little Big Planet <laughs> like years ago, places that look like this. So these are rank 9 monsters again, so I don't think we get the Metal King slimes here. I remember the purple guys though, because they're fucking tough. Yeah, I've killed a lot of... I think I've killed up to rank 8 monsters in the water ones. I definitely haven't done the rank 9 stuff. I don't remember what's in here. I presume you get the whales in here, or some variants of the whales. So that makes sense, it being water. Probably, I've probably killed like thousands of those orange and light guys in my time because of they're in the same uh, floor rank as the Metal King slimes. And I think I'm right in saying that the lowest... Basically the lowest rank of monsters in which Metal King slimes will appear is in Water Grows. So this usually ends up being where I train. But yeah, I still haven't tested my theory on whether like low level legacy bosses is faster to train on. Because they give about 30k XP, which is about the same as... Metal King slimes, but obviously they're way more consistent. But if you work out XP per hour, there probably is a decent comparison there. And Metal King slimes probably are faster, but they're just less consistent and more frustrating when they run away. With legacy bosses, you only get yourself to blame if you fail rather than RNG. Oh, we ran away there. Right, I'm going to have to punish myself by running into the next monster I see. There we go. I keep breaking my own rules every single time. I hate it when enemies use that spell. I quite like the Slugly Betsy's though, because they have Kazing. So whenever you fight them with Metal King Slimes, they tend to revive the... Obviously you go for the Slimes first, so they don't run away. Slugly Betsy revives them, but you still get the XP even if they run away. So you can sort of kill them, get the XP, and then let them go again. <laughs> quite sweet in a way. Pretty sure we've already got him in the defeat monster list already. But it doesn't hurt to get him again. They still haven't got any skill points in their own skill tree yet. <laughs> like the magical mending is good, but that becomes completely redundant once you start using Omni Hill. Because Omni Hill is a full hill regardless of the mending. But the max MP must be. or higher MP must be decent. Yeah. We could have got round him, we didn't go the right way. Right, Boogie Manguinis. They don't need to hard. It should be fine. One hit. Yeah, nice. Let's get the chest up here as well. Ah. At least we know that's rank A then. I think the odds of a Pandora is... Oh dear. Odds of being it, it being Pandora's at rank S is like 20%. So you either get ambushed by quite a powerful enemy... Or you get something ridiculously good. It's just the Sainted Somers I really want from rank S. Oh, and the fans, critical fans. I've got one of them already. To be honest, that's probably all we need, isn't it? Because we're only going to have one Paladin. And the other coup de grace is a... Oh, the Gladiator ones are good, but they're not essential. I think strategy will have to change a lot when we come to do like level 80 plus nocturnes. We're going to have to just put, the gla uh, put a Paladin on the front line. Uh, have it equip the fan. So we're going to need Omni Vocational Fan Master as well. We another 100 skill points. And then just wait till we get a coup de grass and then start attacking. Because th it probably is 
doable without a paladin and just doing kind of my normal strategies. Here we go, boffin badger. Bling badgers, yeah that makes sense. And then I go with the shogun model. They, I think they probably reuse like every grotto boss skin on later grotto monsters. Because there's a guy in the caves as well. Prime, I don't know if it's Prime Slime or something else, but it's the green version of Shogun. This guy's the golden version. Oh, this is the Prime Slime. It's got cool abilities as well. Prime Slime is down. That might be a new addition to the monster list. I can't remember if I've done one of them already. Cheek chest. We'll take that. Please, no chase. <laughs> no, no. Shrug. <laughs> Alright, it's two. Not too bad. Well, approaching level 99 as well. Just going through grottos normally is decent XP. You'll see you're killing two birds with one stone and the amount of chests you can unlock while you're doing it. Oh, fuck it. You're going for grottos, you get. Oh, fuck me, stop spawning more! Going for grottos, you get a chance at the chests, you get a chance at a rare drop from the monsters, and you get XP. So. I'm not. I haven't done that many Metal King slimes in this playthrough. I've just done a load of grottos and a load of bosses. They're essential, probably lower levels. But when you revocate, really, you probably want to start at Slime Hill to get the first few levels at least, because you just get wrecked otherwise, instantly. Right, let's do a hill here. Give me a trouble otherwise. Nice big open floor, we like to see. Better chance of running away then. Come on, give us something good. We will take that, that's rank A as well, so. Would have preferred a metal slime item, but we will take that. Oh, lovely. The loot from these we've got. I mean, we're only two grottos in. We've got loads. We've got way more ethereal stones than we need, and no sainted somers yet. I could probably make a few somers from alchemy. But making any more than a few of <laughs> stuff beyond the stuff I've just picked up as we've gone through the game, it's going to take ages. Just go on. We'll take it. So there's a metal mini metal shop there. The Nelfin Elixirs. Oh, it does reset stones. See, that's the thing I've been pondering. Because when you upgrade the legendary gear. Oh, hello. That's a new monster, definitely. When you upgrade the legendary gear, you need one A gate and one orb of whatever variant it is the first time you upgrade it into the second rank of gear. The second time you need three A-gates and three orbs, and it either upgrades to the kind of normal final upgrade, or it goes to the golden version, and it's like 20% chance. I was thinking I could be naughty, and just regardless of if the alchemy worked or not, just cheat in a pair of the gold and stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that, because like, that is cheating. I don't think I've ever had a legitimate set of any item of the like final golden legendary gear, ever, in any playthrough. So I remember back in the day I was trying to use exploits like the Poimi tables. Ooh, that looks cool. There's a dark version of Hammer Horrors, there you go. I want to go for them first. Just an air attack hits. Yeah, like, I've had the golden armor before, but I think that was in my first playthrough when I had an action replay and just hacked in everything. Which I could do here, but... Kind of, it'd be boring. I want to be able to kill Nocturnus level 99 legitimately. I don't want to. I don't want to hollow victory. And that's if we even get there. He's still level up two at the moment. <laughs> he was nearly beating me then. I think the odds vary. I don't know what the odds are of when you're going for the third upgrade for the torso armor. I don't know what the odds are of it going golden and being the best. Shit. Oh dear. Alright, at least they don't notice us. Get the first one for free. 
Actually, he probably should have gone for the Mandrake first, because he summons friends. And we will do that. Actually, I think the... I think these guys might know Zing. I can't remember. Oh, fucking hell. Should have killed him first. I regret it. That first one's dead. I right, don't. No, hang on. I want to go for... No, in. Right, don't summon any more, please. Thank you. That's why we need to upgrade the Luminary skill tree to get more... Um, what it is, attraction chance. Or it's charm, isn't it? You've just got a set chance of a monster not acting because they fancy it. Which is a, like, a weird thing, but it's like a traditional <laughs> Dragon Quest thing. Senna, there's not much... I don't think there's any references to Puff Puff in this game. <laughs> It's such a... I don't know why they still do it as well. That was like a joke that started probably in the first Dragon Quest game. Where it, it, Puff Puff is basically... It, it looks like it's going to be prostitution and then it's just a silly joke and it's not. And that's... I mean, even in Dragon Quest XI they do that. Still. There's there's an achievement you get for finding every Puff Puff girl in the game. I don't know why. It's... <laughs> Like, this is a game similar to Pokemon where they've just stuck to tradition after so many years and made, like, few changes. So they made quite a different game with Dragon Quest X, but it it didn't flop, but it didn't do anywhere near as well as the other entries in the series. And obviously it never made it to Europe or the West in general. I was looking through, like, different ways, like, English mods for Dragon Quest X. But I think they do exist, but they're not fully functional. Decent evasion chance, that guy. There you go, cheeky level. I think I was leveling the priests up. It's been a while since I've allocated skill points. <laughs> Probably weeks. I think I was giving the priests gladiator skill points just for the um, defense and attack bonuses, I think. Even though there's not that many in the gladiator path. Still undecided because normally what I do is give one of the priests I turn them into a properly fast healer, but they're still never going to outpace Zoma or Nocturnus. But I give them skill points in stuff like Thief for all the agility boosts, and Martial Artist got loads of agility boosts as well. And they always end up with like just hundreds of skill points for everyone else, just that I don't want to allocate because I don't want to give them any extra agility. I think Blackie, that's quite good actually. Use the now for me. There's quite a few monsters here. That's a rubbish chest. <laughs> That's that like rank D or something. Yes. I don't think that is the best knife. I think that's a, a fairly low rank chest, actually. I just haven't seen that pruning knife in a while, if I have at all, in this playthrough. Right, we can block him. Lovely. I don't think there's Platinum King Jewels in the water. I think they're ruins. But if we do see one of them, we will go for it as much as possible. So I think they're like stupid rare, only ever appearing ones, and they might even have a higher running away chance than the normal metal slime stuff. Can't really remember. I just remember <laughs> pissing myself when I was younger when I saw one. Oh my god, the greatest level up thing in the world. But I think it's literally only like a little bit higher than the Metal King Slime. And just much rarer. did make it past. So it is a thing in common with like the biggest monsters then that they just have very small I don't know what you call it really just they're not really that big. Should have sped up though. Come on. Still not getting new enemies until 13th floor. But those will be new. There'll be at least two 
new guys that we haven't seen before from there. Yes. That's rank A, but nothing good yet. I think we must have been relatively unlucky on the Metal Slime stuff. Because I think there's... They're 1% each, but there's 7 of them. So 7% chance of getting something Metal Slime in the rank A's. And I've only had 3 in total so far. But to offset that, we've been massively lucky in the <laughs> Legendary gear. So we killed Excalibur 3 times and got 2 sets of the armor. One I got on camera, which I was quite happy with, but the other one was off. Yeah, that was ridiculous luck. And the helmet we got in 20 kills or something. Right, we might need some sensible tactics here, because they're just going to keep summoning more. So I might... I'll have John defend, and I'll have Edward do Gritty Ditty, so we can kill him off quicker. So we'll have the priest or John attack next turn. Alright, we can get him into the air, that's not going to be a problem then. So hopefully John can kill him off here. There he goes. Yeah. Oh wait, he didn't summon us, that's right. One hit. Yeah, nice. Probably a more sensible way of like, scanning floors for the stairs. Like, it's exactly like it is in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, to be fair. Oh, there we go. Right, any chests around here? No. Right, here we go. Rank the final floor. And then rank whatever that is, bosses. Oh, hello. Let's see what this guy can do. A Seaburn. Doesn't notice, it's lovely. Hopefully, we'll get him in one turn then. Bruce is still hitting. I was hoping we'd see what you could do, but never mind. We'll find another one. That's a rubbish chest as well. Probably rank C or something. Oh, look at that. I don't remember that model at all. Pale Whale. That's the thumbnail there. <laughs> that looks too good for it not to be the thumbnail. It's like a like heavenly golden whale. That's sick. Obviously, it's a reskin of Leviathan, but still. That's incredible. I remember the name Pale Whale. Right, get some turns in there. Dazzle Flash. Our accessories are proving useful. That's all he did, he only gets one attack. For sure. There we go, got Pale Well. So that's both of the... We should now have a fully completed uh, defeat monster this for the water grows. Hopefully. And then Prime Slime. Cheek Chest. Saint Sashes. I can't remember what... I did. They used to um, turn reckless necklaces into lucky pendants. But not that useful. Oh dear, we ain't getting past him. Alright. That shouldn't be too difficult. That was quite a hard hitting normal attack. You had a bit of tension there. There was a mod I saw for um. There's a load of mods for Dragon Quest XI. There's basically none for Dragon Quest IX as far as I can tell because it's a DS game and they're fucking hard to mod. Let's kill another one of these, see what they can do. But yeah, there's a mod for XI where they do um. Introduce the tension mechanic again. I don't know how well it works. I do want to try it. Oh, fuck me. That's what it can do. It can do crits. Alright. Oh, we might have to start being sensible here. Yeah? Might have to do an Omni Hill. Oh shit! Oh, that's not landed either. Oh dear, we're in trouble. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Alright, we need a fast Omni Hill now. We'll do a full heal on Edward. There's no point in him defending because he's going to die anyway. Try and revive. Ah, oh, lovely block. Yes. That was a clutch there. 
Why did we take this fight? <laughs> we should not have done. Alright, we're still in trouble. Good block. He did... How many crits has he done? He's done like three... Two crits in three turns. Right, I'm going to go for a revive and a... Multi. That's a lot of damage. Please learn. Shit. I might... Hopefully I've got Yggdrasil leaves in their inventories. Shit. Okay, not too bad. Alright, have I got leaves? I do have leaves. I'm going to use one because <laughs> we're going to be in fucking trouble otherwise. And let's use another Omni Hill. Okay. Alright, we've got a revive. Nice. Alright, we're still in a bit of trouble. I need that Seaburn dead, because he's he is hard, look at that. Alright, let's go for a Zing and a heal again. I'll do a multi, so a bit of MP. Okay, got back. Oh, we've got the healing, lovely. Alright, we should be out of danger now. <laughs> okay. Three coup de grasses. I'm going to save their coup de grace, because I want to see the... Oh, co the we still haven't had a co-op de grace in this whole playthrough. Wasted health. Oh. They're so rare if you haven't... If you're not trying to get one, they're... Oh, lovely dodge. Lovely. Alright, we're out of trouble. You know what, I'm going to defend with everyone, because I want to... <laughs> I want to see a co-op de grace. Alright, let's just leave it like that. Sure, we're gonna get one from that. Oh. Now, oh no, not that one. Defend. Hit Jade for God's sake. Give her a cult of the grass. Ah, it's the last turn anyway. Ah, what a shame. Oh well. I don't even. It's... <laughs> I've probably done like three cult of the grasses in my lifetime, and I've played this game so many times. Right, we're out of danger for now. <laughs> Let's not pick any other fights with sea burns because they were fucking tough. I don't actually know what cult of is you get. Like, other than them just being hard hitting attacks, I don't. Apparently, the paladin one is very good. I don't know what you have to pair them with. I feel like I should have made them a bit more common because they're rare to the extent that you could literally do a whole playthrough, including all the legacy bosses, and not get one. <laughs> Dodge that. We've got to take this slow now. This is rough. I don't think we've got done any of the monsters for, like, the grottos for the ice uh, monsters yet. So they're all going to be surprises. I don't remember any anyway, other than the cannibal. Alright, please end this dungeon early, please. Ah, <laughs> lovely. Right, done it. did we get grain off of this one? Oh, we got foul eye. Okay. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge then. I think the other three are grey now. Alright, shouldn't have any trouble here. I think he's weak to flame. Let's go with that. He should go down in a couple of turns. Not even worth putting on boss music for him. It's too easy now. Two turns. Alright, can we spoon a hat? Nah, it's unlucky. Right, but there we go. We have finished the water maps. Now, on to whatever the next one is. There we go. Alright, Ruby World of Gloom level 88 is a cave. And I think we've done... These are monsters I should recognise from my youth, because these are some of the most common grows as well. Cave and Ruins, I think, are, they dominate. I think the others are equally rare. We definitely got the Cosmic Trimeras already. We've done a few cave stuff and we had to do this for the quests. For a reason, Rumble the Mighty. Oh, I've got to love a dead end.
It was annoyingly close. Still haven't got anything good from chests. Other than, well, we got a good range of like alchemy loot. Just gonna need to take them and upgrade stuff. Oh, lovely block. Rubbish. You get off the stairs. Go on, give us something good for once. I don't know what that is. It's a suit of armor for one of the vocations, probably. Like a mage or something. I don't know. Or oh, him, I, I'm going to kill him. Because him I remember well. Beast, or Wishmaster. I was going to say Beastmaster, but no. I'm thinking of RuneScape. Lovely. Not as difficult as I remember, but I'm sure he's... I think they because they missed their first turn. I'm sure he does crits that just mess you up completely. I definitely remember there being whales in this grotto as well. Not the pale whale, the nice shiny golden one, but... Definitely, like, darker ones. Can we open that one? Yeah. Hoping he didn't chase. Good. Alright. War 5, new rank of monsters. I think we've done these, most of these ones already. We'll see what we get. Yeah. Chest. That's a rank, eh? Still nothing. You can never do circles in a narrow corridor. I don't know why I even bother trying. I don't think these guys are any threat at all. I don't think they have crits. Lovely. Oh, chest. That's a rank A as well. Come on, give us something good from the rank A's. We haven't seen any... Oh, there's the whale. I think we've done one of him already. But we'll go for it. Stay a whale. There you go. Another one. Yeah, I must have opened so many rank A chests in this <laughs> in this episode alone and got nothing other than the ethereal stones, which are always useful. All I really want is the metal slime boots. I know they're probably I found one like massively long article from when the game was first released all about legacy costumes. I'm sure there are other boots that are better. I think boots are meant to be all about evasion chance. Mm, that's good. But yeah, Metal King slime boots are just... They look so good, and they've got... And they're, they are some of the best boots in the game. Their evasion chance is... I don't know if it's as high as the Pixie Air boots. But they've got Defense as well. Which I don't think Defense makes too much of a difference when you're on the high end exit bosses, because they're going to hit like four or 500 with every turn anyway. So a little bit of Defense isn't going to make the difference between a one hit and a two hit kill. Or a two and a three. Bit of Asian chance, will. Nah, we ain't getting past that. Two of the bastards. Come on then. That's what makes him strong, that quack cracker whack. They've got the same model as um, the Wormwood Creek boss, haven't they? Oh, and you just realised. Gadrongo. Yeah, so many of these Grotto monsters have reskinned or recoloured from them. Lovely. Nah, we ain't making it past the whale. <laughs> At least he hasn't killed us as much as Leviathan did in whatever episode that was. I just tried the same tactics over and over again when I was underleveled for him, and just... Oh, tried them. That's probably a good spear. Yeah, just... I gave up, went to Liquid Metals and unlocked multi heal and then came back, did the same tactics, still didn't get him. It was only when I started using buff. Ah, dead end. Can't imagine using... Buff or Kabuff is a decent strat against the legacy bosses because they're just going to disrupt after a couple of turns. I think they all have it. I don't think Dragon Lord unlocks it until like level 60 odd. Which makes him kind of unique in that respect in that you can buff early. But level 99 you'll just do the same as all the others. I don't think in this game they're like strategically designed. So I'm sure in 11, well, like 11. Oh, don't notice the body's presence. That is lovely in here. I'm sure in 11 and 8, they will only disrupt after you start applying some buffs. That might be bollocks, it might just be RNG, and I might just be unlucky. But, you should try it, why not? 
but I'm convinced they only use disrupt when you have some stuff that to disrupt essentially. Unfrost and I don't think there's any difference between the two, to be honest. They're equally they're all 50% chance of um getting a kit. 60k XP, that is juicy. Should be everyone up from that. Nah, I like it. I don't think I've in this playthrough had a three Metal Kings one kill in one uh, battle. But that is the dream of RNG right there. 90k XP. Right, rank nine. New monsters. Let's see what we get. Up stairwell. That is a slime heart, I think it's called. I think we killed one of them before, but if we come across him, we'll kill him again. Please don't chase. Ah, Godsteed. Yeah, we've definitely killed this rank of monsters before. I think it's only the 413 monsters that we haven't seen yet. And I've got no memory of what they are. I'm sure I'll recognise them immediately when I see them. Getting past that? Nah. Bloody whales. I still need new acts for Jade. I need to go back and um, sell some weapons and armor and stuff, really. You don't really need money in this game for what I'm... I don't think you really need money for anything, but... I've got too, too much stuff in my inventory at the moment. Cheeky hill before we go down. Switch back to swords as well, because I don't think there's any more. So you might get Platinum King Jewels in caves, I can't really remember. I think they might be ruins only, but I don't really know. I still don't think we've seen any rank S chests, have we? We've seen plenty of rank A's, but we get some here. Or 12. Next floor, we get the real demons. Barely any chests at all in this grove. I must have just missed them. Right, here we go, floor 13. There's definitely a greener tint there. I definitely noticed that. Rank A, but nothing. No, we've done it. Show me the new monsters. Oh, hello. There's the spider. I definitely remember the spider. I think there's a couple of different variants of these. But a Widow's Peak. It's a reskin of the Tarantula monster from the Bad Cave. Good damage. Right, let's see what the spider can do. I'm intrigued. High defense. Right, he's only doing tension. Now. He's probably got all the same... It's probably like a reskin and they've applied like a lot of the same moves from the boss as well. Because I'm sure the boss did tension. Should stop attacking. Right, 200. That's not too bad, to be fair. That's... <laughs> it didn't have that much health either. Right, that wasn't as bad as I remember. So I definitely remember them chasing you around, just messing you up completely. Yeah, he only did 200 damage with the tension attack, which isn't a lot. It's these guys that are messing us up now. The one. So John defend Edward Hill. I can chuck Nomi here. Good thing he was defending. Quick. Right, lovely. We've got the spider. There's going to be one more a high level one in here. Because I think there's always two new monsters with every rank in the higher level floors. Should have done that a bit more strategically, really. Went around the right circle there. Another chest. Wasn't worth it. <laughs> Wonder World, oh, there's the second one. I remember him, but I don't think I remember him doing anything special. Wicked Web. Yeah, he's got all the same strategies as the boss. Oh, he's got a fire attack. Ah, these guys are no threat at all. 
I think I overestimated caves. Oh, he's got a crit. Fair play to him. The boss didn't have that. Lovely. Right, we should be all done for the monster list for the caves now. So it's just the ruins and the ice. There's going to be loads in the ice because I don't think we've actually done a high level ice grower yet. Done a few ruins ones, but not like the highest. Probably second or third highest, maybe. I know the spiders can definitely chase you well. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I managed to block him there. Ah, oh, we ain't getting past the horse now. Right, Godsteed. I'm going to heal here because he does a breath attack. Or just kills you instantly. <laughs> Maybe we do need to apply some agility boosts for every vocation, though. Because that would have benefited a lot there. Against legacy bosses. I don't think gladiators will ever outpace. There you go, that hurt. Done it in the wrong order. I don't think gladiators will ever outpace the high end legacy bosses. The priests, maybe, but not Nocturnus or uh, Zoma. There we go. A cheeky level. I think I've still got... For, I don't think I've leveled up the Luminary vocation yet for any of them. So they're all still level 1. So there's loads of skill points to be obtained there. Which I'll put... I think in for Priests I'll put it into Gladiator just for the buffs. And I think for Gladiators I'm in the process of doing an armament list. There's definitely no point in like revocating 10 times in this game. Unless you probably want to... You want to go for, like, full completionist, where you revocate ten times for everything. Oh, I'm... Fuck it, I hate the rule I've set myself. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't need that many... I... Imagine it's 200 skill points from level... Maybe it's less than that. Maybe it's 150 skill points, level 0 to 100. But the majority of that is concentrated in, like, level 1 to 30. A lot of the comments have said you get 100 skill points, it's level 1 to 38 for every vocation. Yeah, a lot of them aren't worth getting at all. Actually, we need to, um... There was one thing I've never done in any playthrough that I only learned recently, that staves, they give a base evasion chance of, I think, 4% in total. So when the priests aren't... See, I think wands are still useless. Wands would be good if they gave a magical mending or might buff, but they don't. They're just a chance of stealing MP. Useless against bosses. But staves give a base for evasion chance. But we haven't, um... Dragon Shield. Don't know if that's any good. But yeah, we haven't leveled Priest up in that yet. I think that's probably quite high on the priority list then. Yeah, I, I didn't know that was a thing from previous playthroughs. But it's only after... I can't remember if I read something or there was a comment. That said that. We have gone round the bloody market on this floor. <laughs> Can't get past anything. Oh, there we go. Come on, please be the end. <laughs> Shit. I think most of these are 16 floors, and I think this will have grey nail at the bottom. If we fuck this up, I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Because I think Grano. I think we've killed him quite a few times now. He has offed us a couple of times. Because he just hits. It's these. Um. He does his interruption attack, the roar, which stops you attacking like nearly every turn. Gets three attacks per turn, and that's usually one of them. And I don't think there's any, like any of the accessories stop you from being blocked by that. Okay, there we go. So it's just 50-50 for every person to be stunned pretty much every turn. I don't think he does it twice a turn. If he did, that would probably just fuck you up very quickly. Other than that, it's just his normal attacks that are killer. No! <laughs> okay, let's see that. Do the peek first. I need to stop attacking with these priests because their attack just isn't cutting it anymore. Against bosses, it... They hit harder against the most bosses than they do against normal enemies. I don't know why normal enemies have got high defense than bosses, but there you go.
I should probably not give them falcon swords because they need that attack boost from other swords. Probably give my metal slime sword to one of them. And if we get that rank S sword. Actually, yeah, that'd be really good. If we get the rank S sword and give it to a priest, they've got a decent chance of lowering the defense of the enemy. And that's going to be better than them using falcon slash. That could be quite a good strat against the bosses. Especially the lower level bosses. But the higher level is just defend or heal. And that's, that's all you can really do. That's rank A again, but nothing good. <laughs> Don't chase me, please. No! Shit. Uh, <laughs> I think we got the slime, huh? Oh, no, we got the pig. We've gotten a lot of levels from this. What a useless drop from a very difficult enemy. Right, it must be somewhere over here. Please, get me off this floor. I'm going to get wrecked. No, no. Alright, at least there's only one. I don't know where else to check. Come on, please be up here. No. <laughs> it is kind of a shame that the maximum number of floors in any grotto is 16. It's not like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon where you get the 99 floor dungeons. Because that would be fucking epic. <laughs> I wonder if that's doable with a hack. Or just a, like, a relatively basic... I know, like... Modding DS games in particular is just fucking ridiculously hard because everything is just like everything is made specifically, not changeable. But I would want to do a grotto where it's like 99 floors of just the hardest monsters from every a different map. So ice, water, runes, volcano, okay, no, cave. Alright, come on, please be 15 floors. No. Alright, come on. Make it worth it. No, oh, fucking hell. Uh. Right, come on, yes, there we go. Nice and quick, that floor. And I think this one is Graynor. So we might actually be in for a decent boss fight here. Nice oh, Hammer Ball. Okay. Alright, at least we get another chance of a roll at the helmet for Jade. No, he's not worthy of boss music. Actually, this music is getting annoying, to be fair. <laughs> I might stick a Dragon Quest 8 cave music on. Uh, right, here's Weak to Frost. And greedy. A priest doing a thousand. There we go. Right, come on. Cheeky roll at the helmet. Uh, disappointing. Right, there you go. There's caves done. We'll have a cheeky look at the best style. We must be on like 94, 95 now. Yeah, 94. Do I ever use the stylus? No, I'm playing on TV. That would be insane. Right, let's have a look. So yeah, there's the ice ones. And there's all the cave ones. I think they... Is that a cave? Yeah. So the cave ones start, I think, with the King Kyrgyz line. And then, yeah, you can see we've got all of them now. Slyneheart, God's Deep, Widow's Peak, Wonderworld. So that's cave done. Next, we are onto an ice grotto. Must be somewhere. There it is. Right, here we go. Ruby Snow Hall of Doom. And there should be... Oh, I like the look of this place already. There should be a lot of monsters here that we haven't got yet for the defeated monster list. Because, oh, no. Didn't remember them being in Ice Dungeons. I don't even remember their name. But yeah, there should be a lot here. Because I don't think we've done any high-level um, Ice Grotters at all yet. So I don't know if I'm going to remember a lot of the monsters that are in here. From my youth, because these are rarer dungeons. I'm definitely when we do ruins, we'll save that till last. Because oh hello, that must be new, I think. 
Grim Reapers. They look like they should be in the Fire Growers even, just because they're sort of red and orange. But there you go. Blunt, I haven't seen that spell in a while. Well, at least Jade's got my back. 65, that hurts a lot. I don't know if any legacy bosses do that, Blunt. That's going to be a very annoying spell if that does get used. And there you go, there's the first new addition, I think. And pray to RNG Jesus that we get some good uh, chest loot from this one as well. So we've got a few like useful commodities so far, but we've not got anything like properly good. Actually, all I want is the Metal Slime Boots, to be honest. <laughs> metal Slime Boots and maybe a Sainted Soma or two. I'll be over the moon. I'm not allowed to run from battle, am I? It's annoying. At least the first few guys are relatively straightforward. These are in the realm of the mighty, these burning things. Not the first time we've seen the cannibal, because we had to do those for one of the... I think it was the Orgadena quest. One of them. But they're in Stormway anyway. So there's a few of the grotto monsters that do appear in the overworld map. Only in places that are accessible from the Starflight. But still. I think there's a few in the Tower of Nod as well. Which, see, we haven't actually been to yet. Left it a long time, but that's probably going to be the boss. I don't know what order. In the next episode, we're going to basically complete the best diary. Because we'll only have the two quest monsters left at that stage. But, I mean, Nodoff might be my final monster for the defeated monster list. Either Nodoff or, I think it's Tyrannosaurus Rex for the stellar quest. I think I did a few of the stellar quests in my previous playthrough. But no, I didn't go the full way. But I vaguely remember the um, plotline for that. I do remember it being quite funny. Stella's a comedy character, after all. I think Stella and Sterling are kind of both, to a certain extent, comedy characters. Sterling's got a more serious side to him. Right, floor five. Should get some new enemies now. Ooh, hello. A purpley thingy bob. Some gurgoyles. Ah, oh, the puns. Just never ends. Lovely. First one. Beautiful. Right. And Reserock. <laughs> See, I thought when I first played this game, the Reserock would just be an Yggdrasil leaf, basically. I think it's... Oh, lovely. Needed one of them. I think it is basically one of the ingredients to an Yggdrasil leaf. But yeah, I thought it was a consumable item that would just resurrect... As the name suggests, resurrect your bite members. But no. More complicated than that, obviously. Come on, show us some chests, man. I want my metal slime boots back. <laughs> Feel bad about sacrificing them enough already. The layout of this is like one of those Pokemon floors where you've got to do the puzzle where you slide into the ice uh, barricade things. Not even rank A, it's rank B. Come on, give us some good ones. I'll settle for the gauntlets or a metal slime shield, but I want those boots. Hmm. Oh, hello. What is this? This is a... a oh, a gem slime. <laughs> I should have been able to guess that name, really. I think this must be a, a money monster. It's definitely one that's going to run away, or try to anyway. I do not remember this monster at all. It must be like, what, 2,000 gold if you kill one of these? Not that we need money, but <laughs> I have no memory of this. Alright, it's inevitably going to be a high defense monster, so I'm not even going to bother trying normal attacks. Hopefully it doesn't run away, probably. Straight away, beautiful. How much money we get from that? We've got a level. Ten thousand gold. That is not bad at all. I think you get more from the legacy monsters, which will obviously be more consistent anyway. But that is a cheeky bit of money. I forgot those guys existed. So a simple monster to make, given that there's Darkonium slimes just recolored. <laughs> I completely forgot about them. Uh, no. I hate these priest guys. Oh, we're gonna have to kill them now. And it will just attack. I 
thing. Is there a single boss in this game that isn't reskinned? So the first boss is the Hexagoon, reskinned into the Octagoon for Goros. Second one is the White Knight. I don't think there's another one of them, is there? There you go. Obviously Morag third boss is turns into the Cannibal. Another one. You know what, we're still equipped in our stuff, so might as well. I can't remember if there's any other models for Morag. What do you get then? There's Boss of Coffin, well, with the Raging Contagion, there's loads of reskins of him. The Ice One, the Fire One, all that. Um, who else is there? Who's a the fifth boss? I think it's a It'll be All Trades Abbey, won't it? And it's Master of None. That shares the same skin as Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think. And then it's the Leviathan, which oh, that's reskinned into all the different whale monsters. Come on then, another gem slime. <laughs> These must be fairly common then, not as rare as I thought. Ah, he's gone. Another rank A chest, disappointing loot. Uh, who else is there? You got Goth. Is Goth Goyle the boss? I think he is, isn't he? Because he's reskinned into them. Um, Blooming Dow, you got the spider, which is reskinned to all the high end grow monster spiders. Who comes after that? It's the Blooming Dow one. No, we've done Blooming Dow, that's the spider. It'd be the Bat's Rig one, then. That's last, that's Norris. Yeah, she gets reskinned into all of the. Oh, that's no, just the Slappy Betsy, I think. Who's the boss of Gleaver? You got the big lizard, he's reskinned plenty. Is it just the White Knight? And obviously Corvus at the end that doesn't get reskinned. Right, anyway, <laughs> floor 9, new monsters. Yeah, that's a common thing in Dragon Quest, a lot of the monsters get reskinned. Oh, here we go. That is a Gem Jamboam or something like that? Geothalm. Something like that. Gem Jamboam. Right, let's go back to Swords. Speed this up a bit. Yeah, I remember him. Because the light, I think the deeper ice floors have this sort of dark vibe where all the enemies, I think all of them really, where all the enemies get a bit scary. Alright, I'm going to give Edward my metal slime sword instead of the falcon. Might do a bit more damage though. Fair play. <laughs> One hit bang. Right, there's a geothelm. And here is my metal slime boots. Geothelm. Plenty of them. There must be another one for this floor. Another new enemy, that is. I can't remember what it is. And loads of them, isn't there? Well, he's got a falcon slash. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good strat to give them these Stardust Swords if we do ever find them for the Priests. Because they're going to be hitting more and doing better status effects with those swords instead of the Falcon ones. Because they need that boost from the sword. They can't rely on their base attack. Please be this way. Please don't make me go all the way back around. Yeah, nice. There still must be a second enemy. I'm sure every new grotto rank has two new enemies. And there it is. I think we must have done some of these before. Uncommon. Or maybe we haven't. I can't really remember. But they're ones that spawn in the overworld as well. In that little northeast island. I hate that spell. Oh, lucky. It gives me a heart attack every time it comes up. Right, there's the first one. Take that spell as well. Ice Grotters must be heavy on status effects. Might not kill him. Huh? Yeah. yeah, we need better accessories for the priests. Because at the moment we're resisting pretty much every status effect. I mean, I've got a Catholican ring, Jade's got a Sober ring. Which is blocking everything. Right, lovely. So there's... should only have two monsters left for the Ice Crows now. That's rank A again. <laughs> we must have opened at least 20 rank A chests in this episode and not got a single Metal Slime item. Which should have a total of 7%. 1% each item. 
So you don't really need the spear or sword, but it would still be nice. Seeing things. Yeah. It's the danger of the speed up. Oh, and I've got to get all three of these. Right, come on then. Hearing this music just makes me tempted to do another Dragon Quest 8 playthrough. And honestly, I think I've spent more of my life like midway through a Dragon Quest 8 playthrough than I have not during one. I don't think I'll ever record that because it's too much of a special game to me. It's emotional. Don't remember that one. Don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I play Dragon Quest 8 too much to the extent that I almost spoil the story because I'm just <laughs> I'm like midway through it all the time. Try and be more conservative with it. Lane Thatcher's still not getting those good drops. Ooh, I forgot he had a crit. I'll look through some of these um, chests after I've done the grows and identify where the good ones are or if there are any good ones. So basically, I just want to have one map which has got loads of rank A and rank A, rank, rank A and S chests in. But I just spam. Alright, floor 12. Next floor we get our final enemies for ice. Nah, never making it past then. Free? Fuck off. Alright, do we have... Say, I don't think there's like many good AoE abilities. In this game in general, and for swords. I can't remember if Giga Slash has AoEs. We haven't even gotten to the gladiators. The priests haven't. Gee, let's test it out. Cutting down a group. Oh, we're all in a row. Let's do it anyway. Right, Giga Slash! Meh. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> it did a fair bit of damage, to be fair. It probably did more than it would have done had they used Falcon Slash. But. Yeah, for the attackers, Crap and Slash is always better. I think there is a hit cap of 8,000. And I don't think it's per hit either. Because I'm sure Falcon Slash, the most you can do is 1,999 per slash. So just under 8k in total. I'm sure when you use Blind Man's Biff, it's capped at 4k per hit. So 8k total again. But I mean, 8k is like a 2 hit kill for even level 99 not turns. Maybe 3 hits. Can't really remember. But that is fair enough. Yeah, there's so many different buffs you could apply. Because I'm sure if there was no hit cap, you would, like, be triple it. Like, max tension, double boosted attack, enemy double lower defense, defense even. Uh, force as well. Yeah, you'd be hitting 10, 20 Ks. Right, here we go. Floor 13, the final rank of ice monsters. Come on. Fuck it up. Get nothing from chest. Alright, what are we going to get? More geotherms. He's in the water grove. What's he doing here? Ah. Boogie Manguinis. I'm pretty sure this is the highest rank of monsters. It feels like there should be more. Don't know why. I'm pretty sure this is rank 9. Beautiful. I don't know what the boogie manguinis are doing here, because they're like relatively lower down than the water grows. 14. Come on, show me the monsters. No, don't want in. GF films. Here we go. A purple ninth. Some blight knights. Right, these guys have definitely got crits. I'm going to defend with these two. Ooh, two hit kill. 
Alright, so I'm gonna need a revive already. Try and melt heal after. Oh dear, double enrage. Shit. Now nah, we're in trouble. I'm wasted heal. I can take one of them out. We need a speedy zing. Or at least they're wasting turn. Oh dear. Alright, one of them's dead. I should probably just focus on healing now. It's defending, isn't it? Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Alright, I can go for a revive now. Mm. Okay! <laughs> Alright, we're in desperate trouble. If he does a crit, I'm out. Please land. Okay. Normal attack, okay. Okay, alright, we're in the game still. Right, I need a fast on the hill. Try another zing. Okay, got the healing. There you go, there's rank 13 monsters for you. Rank 13? Rank 12. Alright, it's run out of MP though. Alright, he's gone now, he's finished. He's definitely dead. Beautiful, and then the heal in second. Lovely. He's finished. So we're still yet to be bested in this episode. I feel like the ruins monsters might get the better of us, though. And down he goes. Oh no, still that. There we go. I wouldn't want a boss with all those strats and <laughs> abilities. They would mess you up very quickly. Is there any boss that... There are a few legacy bosses that block, aren't there? They don't block or counter. I don't think. Unless Nocturnus has got a strat I've forgotten about. So there's one of the last two bosses. Or the last two monsters of the ice. Where's the other one? He's definitely going to chase me. Oh! Maybe the Boogie Manguini is the other one. I'll check the best diary when we get to the... Oh, I fled. Whoops. I'm going to have to kill another enemy now. Oh, dear. I should not have run away. Oh, shit! Oh, he's going to fuck us all up, isn't he? Fucking hell! I'm still going to attack, because I have to. One's out of MP. One dungeon. And we were out of MP. Right, let's have the priest def Oh, he's doing it again. Shit. Oh, these strats. Yeah, there's no legacy boss that does that, is there? Oh, there we go. Is there an ability that bypasses that? Or do you, are you just meant to predict when he's going to use it and wait? Right, I don't want to fight any more of them. Or maybe the Boogie Manguinas are the other high level boss for ice. Maybe ice are just lower lower tier in general. How does he get round there? Bastard. Right, if this is Grey as a boss, we might need Sage's Elixir. John. Maybe out of MP otherwise. There we go, cheeky level. We're nearly. Nearly at the point where I might just grind straight for level 99. As I said earlier, we won't revocate for a while. We'll see where we can get to just with level 99 and nothing else. With the legacy bosses. But yeah, we're never going to be able to kill Nocturnus level 99 just as without revocating. Right. Oh, lovely. <laughs> we're at the end. Right, let's check the battle records because I want to see where we're up to. Right, I'm to 96%. Have we got all of the ice monsters? Looks like we have. Geothelm and Uncommon Cold. Uh, it looks like the oh, and. Oh, Blight Knight, it ends there. There you go. Got them all. Right, so it is just the Ruins monsters by the looks of it. So yeah, there's the Ruins start. Up to go in Darkonia and the Neil Armour. And Gem Slime must be Ruins as well. So it's just them to go. Yeah, those are Ruins, aren't they? We have everything else up until then. We have... Off camera, I'd need to do Zoma and... That'd be Malroth, wouldn't it? Malroth, Zoma. And then next episode, it's just those two quest monsters. And then we're done. Right, the boss of here, I believe, well, I'm very confident, is going to be Grainor. 
Right, so let's get Sage's Elixir down, John. And we will put the boss music on this time, because we're going to need it. Actually, I've got 24 magic wars. That slows down a lot. It's not a very intensive game, but that's requiring a lot of CPU for some reason. Right, that will do. Okay. Right, ambiance, we must pause. <laughs> Don't know where it is. I've stopped using iTunes now because it pisses me off so much. Basically crashes the computer every time I try and use it. I'll come out of the... I don't actually know how to navigate here. <laughs> that is broken. <laughs> I'm going to have to play the Dragon Quest Eight boss music, but that would do. I don't really know what this monologue is, to be fair. Uh, that one. There we go. Yeah, I don't... I presume that... I've never thought this until this playthrough, but I assume the Yggdrasil leaf you find at the back of this cavern is the implication that he has used by himself and brought himself back to life. But I don't know who this Sterling character is. I don't know if that's a reference to something in a previous game. Alright, here we go. Let's see if he just wrecks us completely immediately. Okay, it's gonna hurt. 700 each. And his annoyance. Well, what I don't want him to do is roar. Right, I think that's an indicator that he's going to do magic burst next. I'm going to have everyone defend next time. I'm pretty sure he always follows that same routine. He does that one turn and then magic burst. Next. So let's defend. Everyone, and then we can go back to normal strats next time. There you go. Only 30 did you find it. Waste the turn, because he's disrupted already. And then the yeah, other one. Okay, right, we're good to go. We'll do, we'll do a slow multi heal. I think we can get away with that. Funeral force. Alright, he's gone first. Ah, he's got rid of Jade. Shit. Right, we're gonna need. We're gonna need a Zing and an Omni. Shit. Oh dear. No oh dear! Oh, that Omni here was lucky. Alright, Edward's out of MP now. Jade's still dead. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Right, we'll Zing and then Coup de Grass because I'm low on MP. Okay, too bad. Alright, I'm gonna zing. I don't want to waste any more MP. I'm gonna to have to do defending champion. There's the zing gone. Ouch. Okay, we're doing a bit of damage now. Alright, Jade's back. Okay. We're doing alright now. Alright, I need that coup de grass though. And then defense them. I don't think we're buffed anyway. No, we're right. Okay, right. I think Omni Hill with John, because we need to get back on course here. Edward still defend. Oh shit. <laughs> Could have saved that Omni Hill for after, really. First time we we did this go like as well as it hit. Okay, right. uh, he might die this time. Not quite. We're nearly there though. One more multi heal. With a. He disrupts a lot. <laughs> Does it a lot twice in a row as well, which is kind of nice. It's a wasted turn so far. There we go, we got him. Alright. I 
and we should just get a nice free Yggdrasil leaf, and there's nothing else he drops really other than the no, Dragon Ball's map. But there we go, we have completed ice, and the only one remaining is the Ruins Grotto. Could be around here, there we go. Ruby Ruins of Evil, level 90. So this one, I will definitely recognise some of the monsters as we get deeper. There we go. <laughs> Got the right floor this time. I did download one previously that turned out to have the wrong monsters in it. Only rank 6 or whatever. Must have mis misread that, but there we go. Alright. All right. We're never going to get past those octagoons. And I hate those monsters for exactly that reason. You just never get past them in a the corridor. Yeah, it's the... I mean, a lot of these monsters on the deeper levels just haunted me as a child. Because it's the... It's the ones that share the skin with the Traumanator and the spider ones. So I'm sure they're, the spider ones are in the caves as well. I think there might be two spider ones. Because there's definitely two Traumanator ones. There's a golden one. I definitely remember that. The Darkonian. Right, and this one's full of rank A chests as well. So hopefully, <laughs> this is the one we get something good. I'll settle for gloves or shield, metal slime. But I want those boots. I want two pairs, really. Well, three once we get the Paladin. I might just have to... I've got... I think I've got one grotto map from one we did a while ago that's got 10 rank A chests in. Which that one I might just have to spam. Probability dictates you should get at least one metal slime item per grotto if you're doing 10. Nearly one. Should only take 10 grottos to get the boots. RNG be a fickle, a fickle thing. I don't know how many times I've ignored my rule about not running, but <laughs> I think it's quite a few because I just lose track. So we can get past him. Probably floor three. I don't know how many ranks of these we've done previously. We've done a decent way into other grottos, ruins-wise. But we've definitely never been to the bottom, where you've got the rank 12 monsters. This necklace. I think we've got enough of them to make plenty of lucky pendants, but... I don't know if they're exclusive rank A. I think there's a rank A chest on pretty much every floor in this grotto. I don't know where they are, but I read that much. Oh, get past that one. It's nice when they're, when they're on the corner in the diagonals, so you can get past them. Oh, fucking dead end. I ain't getting past them now. There we go. The Tiki down here. I don't mind going a long way round if there's a rank A chest, <laughs> but it's annoying when you get a dead end and there's nothing there. There we go. <laughs> right next to the other stairs. Just find mixture. We'll take that. Decent bit of alchemy progress. Dead end. Ah, bloody Darkoniums. At least they're not too tough now. I'm sure they had higher defense than that, but the priest is getting through to them now. Maybe we're just high enough level to break through their defenses with the priest. Right, floor five. Should get some new monsters here. I've possibly done these ones already, but ah, mimic. I don't think you can run away from the um, chest monsters. I think that's consistent in every Dragon Quest game. If you get a, you always get the um, monsters that are disguised chests that look nothing like chests once you enter the battle. Well, look nothing like the right colours anyway. But I don't think you can ever run away from them. That's a cheeky tiki. Or freaky tiki, whichever one it is. I think we might have done these monsters already. But we've definitely done him. Maybe we haven't done the python priests. Or boa bishops. But yeah, these ones are definitely very annoying. Because they, they're big enough to block the corridors and they chase. So I remember, I remember just being 
already annoyed at the sight at the sight of him <laughs> my first playthrough. Stairs. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Is that a chest? Yes. Come on, boots! Yeah. Oh, good, we're not being chased. Right, this one's boots, I can feel that. Ooh, there we go, we will definitely take that. Another metal slime shield. Uh, I'm gonna give it to a priest, I think. There we go, let's give it to John. Lovely, that's what we wanted. There's the first metal slime item, and I think I saw a spider up here, which we don't have yet. Or we might do, I can't really remember. But this must be the other type of um, spider I remember. I remember there's a bit there. There was definitely two spider models, and definitely two Traumanator models. I can't remember what else there was. Oh, Platinum King Jewel. That's going to be at the bottom of this. Go to the next wall for a spider. There's one. A cyber spider. Yeah, I definitely remember these guys. There we go. Not too much health on him. The other spider model must be tougher. The purpley one. One that was in the bottom of the cave scrolls. I just want to see the Traumanator guys. <laughs> those are the ones I really remember. Because I was first seeing those gold Traumanator model. Oh, cheeky! Two metal slime pieces in a row. So we've got two sets of the armor now. I think these will be useful. Although I prefer the look of the victorious armor and their upgrades. And I think these are better in most circumstances. I think bosses like Estark, the metal slime stuff, is better. So there's certain elements they provide a better defense against. It might be fire and ice. I can't really remember. There we go. We've got two sets of metal slime uh, armor now. We have one helmet. Oh, rank floor nine. Okay, new monsters. No, another Boa Bishop. Classic sleep. I won't bother waking her up. Maybe that was two different turns. I could have sworn he attacked at two different points in that turn, but never mind. Right, come on. Show us the new monsters. No, there he is, blocking the corridor again. Let's kill these guys first, because I think they're more annoying than the spider. Maybe I was wrong. I need to look into how to make the um, Solicon Ring, because we got the one from the quest, but I think they are pretty much one of the best in-slot items for everyone. Except maybe the Lucky Pendant, that gives you evasion chance. Stairs up here, any chests? No, nope. not yet, anyway. We need some rank S chests, because I want some sainted somers. We'll take- Oh, hello! An Alfin. I don't remember this guy. He's got the same model as Nemean, and Nodos. Got high defense. Will he survive a turn? Yes, he will. He's got some nice colors on him. But he's killed by a priest, so therefore he is weak. Come on, another chest. He's big as well. He's probably a chaser. He is. Lump of Arakalcum will take it. I still want those boots. Stairs. There must be loads of new monsters on the final floor. There must be the two Traumanator models, on, both on the same floor, and the Platinum King Jewel. We've got to find it this episode. <laughs> we need at least one jewel for the best diary because I want to complete it in the next one. All right, we're getting new monsters on the next floor. I think the Platinum King Jewel is on the very deepest part anyway. I don't think he spawns on this one. But if he does, it'll be rare. Oh, I thought this... <laughs> I keep hoping it's another monsterless floor like I found back in the day. But I still... Hope... That's the only time I've ever seen that. <laughs> Ten years ago. Oh, 
Spiders down and bishops down. Lovely. Oh, cheeky level. This is rogue. That must be a mage item or something. I don't think it's any good. It's a shame you don't unlock anything like at the very highest levels. Because the priests unlock Omni Hill at level 65, and that's the final thing they unlock. So all you get from there to level 99 is just slight stat boosts. Must never make it around it. Ideally, you'd want there to be something special hidden at level 99. But there is not, sadly. A Kazing or something. <laughs> There's a mod for Dragon Quest XI which lets you go at level 200 and there's like loads of new spells that someone's just coded in. Kazingle was one of them, which just revives everyone to full health in one turn. A bit like Kaplunk really, just without the dying. Beautiful. Yeah, I need to play some more of the mods in that game. There's loads. But I hope when they do remake 9 it is, you know, either, it'll probably be, um, Switch, won't it? Which is moddable. Not to the ex same extent as, um... Rubbish chest. Not to the same extent as other PC games, but... Actually, I do hope that... Was it Dragon Quest XI was, what, Switch, PC, and it had PS4... Did it have Xbox? I can't really remember. But I do hope there was Dragon Quest, 11 PC, uh, Dragon Quest 9 remake PC. Because the mods that will come out of that will be insane. If there isn't a Kalasmos or a Mordigan Legacy boss in there, someone will make one if it's on PC. And they'll probably do a good job of it, because the community for this game is pretty good. I've got to kill this, haven't I? Leveled up about 10 le levels in this episode, just from killing normal monsters. Got a few bosses and a few Metal Kings in there as well. Double block, lovely. Killed by a priest again. That boy is weak. At this stage I want everyone level 99 just for so they're not uneven, because they still are at the moment. Every time I make them even again, one of them dies and just throws everything off. I'm going to try and pause and get around it. Nope. Rubbish chest. Right, the final rank of monsters. So it should be there should be quite a lot of things to find now. There we go, there's the golden trauminator. That's your boy, AU1000. I remember his name as well. Right, let's have him. No damage. <laughs> no damage from Edward either. That's a crit. Oh dear. He'll have two attacks though. Those are some cool animations. I don't think even Traumanator has multi stuff, does he? Oh, Gladiator's barely doing anything either. Oh, we're going to need an Omni Hill now. Alright, John, save us. Hopefully, Edward will go after him. Ah, I'm lucky. Oh well. Okay, didn't do too much that time. There we go, we got him. Right, there should be another one that... I can't remember what colour he is. I think he's a darker colour. And we should still have the Platinum King Jewels on this floor as well. There's another spider. I thought the purple spiders were in ruins as well. Maybe they're not. They just cave. Uh, more spiders. We've got plenty of them already. Oh, and show me the big guns. Show me the other Traumanator. Lion again. Ah. We are still Metal Slime bootless. Oh dear. Revive, please. Oh dear. He's packing some punches now. Oh, we got him anyway. Right, hills. <laughs> How many zings are we going to fail? Was that five in a row? Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight, there we go. 
At least we're high level now, so we're not just going to run out of MP. Alright, can we make it out of this? Does he not? I don't think he chases, does he? Sp oh, there we go. There's the other one. Oh, he looks cool as well. Avoid droid. Golden red. That looks fucking cool. <laughs> No crit, please. Ooh. Oh, lovely block. Smooth as anything. So this guy's got more traditional attacks. I think the other guy's a bit different in his range. Yeah, this guy's a bit easier than the AU-1000. There we go, we're going. Right, so our final monster should be the Platinum King Jewel. And I'm pretty sure it is on this floor as well. It may... It, there's a chance that it's on the previous one, and it's just a rare spawn. Try and get around him. He's gonna go the other way, isn't he? Ah, he's a chaser. Oh, he does have a crit. He did. He survived this one, right? One, lovely. Need a hill before... Oh, there we go, stairs. Actually, you can probably gauge it from the defeated monster list, can't you? Where it's going to be. The Platinum King Jewel, that is. It's 98%. So close to being the... Um, droid. Yeah, he'll be on this floor. Platinum King Jewel. Got to hang around here until we find one now. And hope to God it doesn't run away immediately when we do. Another AU. I could have sworn the spiders were on this floor as well, but the purple ones, but maybe their cave is exclusive. One of them. Are we making it past him? Nah. That's coming in. Dazzle Flash as well. So the other guy is a lot like the Traumator. This guy is a bit different. Uh oh. Close. Come on, give us a jewel. No, don't want no spider. Alright, I think we just need to find one like big open floor and just camp. Oh, I mean, this will do. <laughs> Found it immediately. You just run around in circles until we get that Platinum King. Make this, all right, make, ah, I thought we were making it out of there. Oh, he's weak anyway. Stone. Pretty useless again, isn't it? Um, that might be... No, there's another floor after this. That one... Okay, yeah, we'll go to the next floor and just run around in circles, try and get a Platinum King. Another Void Droid. I'm interested to see how much XP they'll give, because I'm pretty sure it is just double Metal King Slime. But because they're so rare, it's so rare, it just makes them not worthwhile. Oh, well, we'll find the stairs for this floor as well, and then come back to this room. Oh, couple of chests. No, no good. Sainted Soma, lovely. That's a rank S chest. All right, we might be... No, we need two Sainted Somas to make an agate, don't we? All right, that is decent, though. So at least we found at least one chest that we know is definitely rank S. This is the most iconic grove for me, the ruins. Probably because uh, they're because they are the most common. And it's got all of these enemies I remember. Yeah, that's literally all I want now. Just the Platinum King Jewel. They are yes, there we go. We found one. 
And the enemy don't notice us. Lovely. So we've got a 3 and 4 chance of winning this fight then. Switch the Prozax. Iron X. And then the two Spears. Let's go Dean. That makes much difference. <laughs> Let's do the iconic Bamboo Lance. Why not? Let's kill the final normal enemy with one of the worst weapons in the game. On. Let it be the bamboo lance that does it. Ah, oh, what a disappointment. Oh, well, hopefully one of these two. We're in trouble if this doesn't land. Yeah, lovely. There we go. There's the final normal monster. So now we've just got to do uh, Zoma and Malroth again. The computer crashed last time. And then it's the two quest bosses. And then we are, I think for the first time ever, because I don't think I've ever done it before, 100% best diary in Dragon Quest Nine. Now that was one of my goals. Full defeated monster list and all the legacy bosses level 99. Those are my main two. So yeah, next episode we'll finish off the quest ones. Should have really put the swords back on for this fight. Uh, no, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's just hope he doesn't do anything mad like magic burst. That uh, we're right. Lovely. Job done. 60,000. Okay, so double what you get from Metal King Slime from Patna King Jewel. But because they're so rare, yeah, they're not worth grinding up against. And because we're in the very deepest of the hardest grow, you're probably going to get yeeted before you find too many of them. Alright, we are done, so let's finish off. Um, did we... No, we didn't find the stairs for this bit yet, did we? Alright, I'm going to find the place. Just Alright, let's re-equip the sword to heal up as well. Hopefully there's not one on top of us. Shit. Oh dear. Alright, we're just going to have to fight an Omni Hill. And hopefully we go first. I'll have them both do Omni Hill just in case. Lovely. Might waste one now. Oh. Ah, well. I th if it's grown on the bottom here, we might need a Sage's Elixir or something to bring John back. And why not? Let's fire a coup de grass. 100? What? Shit. Right, he'll die before he attacks, so no worries. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> he just wasted his turn. Never mind. That's right, lovely. Jade's up. Let's get out of this. If I see another Platinum King Jewel, I will go for it. Just because the XP is beautiful. To be honest, it doesn't feel as scary <laughs> compared to when it did back in the day. I know I was probably like 12 years old when I first played this. And like, the monsters here just scared the hell out of me. But no, it is a nice little um, refresher. I think if they do do a remake, they need to kind of build on this. I hope they do more floors in a grotto. They make it more difficult. Because 16 floors is not enough for like the hardest grotto in the game. Right, there's the stairs. Can we get round? Uh, nah. Yeah, there needs to be like a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the first one, where there's like 99 floors. Oh, and could they make one where they reset you to level 1 as well and make you level up halfway through the grotto? That'd be sick. That would be sick. Yeah, I really want If there is a remake, I'm sure somebody will. And it's like moddable, like a PC game. I'm sure somebody will do that. Alright, here we go at the bottom, and I believe the boss of this is Tyrannosaurus Rex. So yeah, this does share a model with Master of None. Uh, I'm not going to bother giving John a Sage's Elixir. I don't think he needs it. We should be fine. Alright, and with him dead, I'm just going to defend, can't do anything else. Once I kill him, I will have completed every necessary grotto. He drops the Angel's Robe as well, so it might be worth spamming him at one point. Ah, 
Ah, bastard. Don't think I've ever had an angel's rope. I think in previous playthroughs I've used the Tropotoga and it's upgrades on the priests. And or just Ethereal on them, just stuck with that for the whole game. I don't even know what it looks like. Done. Right, can we have a cheeky roll at the Angel's Rope? Once we get these levels up. It's 89. We're, I mean, we could just do a final push for 99 at this point. Right, come on. RNG, please. Uh, <laughs> disappointing. But there you go, we've now conquered the hardest grottos in the game. Ish. So in the next episode, we will do the quests. One for, basically just the quests are necessary for the best diaries. So the one for Nodoff and the Serena uh, post-game questline and the stellar ones as well. And until then, I will see you later. Cheers.